All right, uh, this is a quickie. It's another one of those um, assets. It's in the Mega Bundle, and that, together with Mantis Slot Editor, I would say, just justify the price of the bundle. Um, it's usually fifty-three odd euro. Don't know how many dollars, but um, the bundle itself is less than that, and this will save you time over and over again. Um, so, let me quickly import it. I can't remember if there's any. No, I mean, it's pretty neat. There's no um, demos. Uh, and it's brilliant. I've had a couple of um, dealings with the developer uh, at various times. So, Unity's changed something and functionality broke or started acting oddly. And, he was really, really quick to update um, and fix things. So, uh, and what I'm actually going to use it for very quickly is this. Um, I just need to essentially, currently, these steps. Uh, use a mesh collider, which is kind of madness because it's, you know, it's not a mega amount, but it's 700 tries. And it doesn't need to be. So open the prefab. And I'm just going to deal with like everything else has. Um, actually, that's a mesh collider as well. Yeah, but that's pretty low. It's not. Um, no colliders on that. Yeah, that's fine. It's, let me concentrate on just this one. So, what I can do to make my life easier for now is I can just hide everything else. Um, so yeah, so this one's pretty bad. Understandably. Okay. So, you can make, you know, I could go, right, uh, create cube. And my cube is not kind of line it all up. We're doing really badly, and you know, essentially, kind of do this kind of work. Good. So, you could do something along those lines, obviously, a bit better and more efficient and uh, more accurately than I'm doing it, but you can do that. You then remove these because you don't. You would. You know, so that would be one way of doing it. Uh, with technique, um, let me remind myself. So, Windows, Hard Painter, which opens um, like another panel. Usually, I have it on a second monitor. But I guess for now, I can do that. So you just literally. You've, you've got selected the, the object you want to do your colliders on. Generate asset, and that's a, a real asset that exists. I mean, again, this is just the way they think. They think really well. This physics hulls get saved outside of uh, the main technique um, folder, so you can just eventually you can just delete. Or if that gets you know updated, this is all separate. That to me, that signs of a good developer. But anyway, I digress. So I don't, I don't like it in there for some weird reason. I prefer it when it's a little bit like free floating because I'm used to it free floating. That's all. Um, okay, so you essentially you're painting. Uh, so I've clicked down, and I'm just dragging across and just essentially um, trying to zoom in a bit more so you can see and then just uh, if I d click over oh, it deletes the ones I've got or if I just drag across it's just adding so you could you know do all of that but actually what I really want is this front and this top 
sure you want. I mean, again, it depends on how accurate you want the physics, but that's all I actually want. And the settings are going to be what will be created. So I don't do I want to. I can name it. I can just you know because you, you can have multiple hulls. I'll show you, but for this object, I really I only need one. Um, I tend not to rename them, but anyway, so you can then just go. I'm gonna want this to be a box, or I'm gonna want it to be a convex collider. Um, obviously, you can let it try to work it out for you. It's kind of up to you. For this, I know that uh, a convex hull is gonna be the best. Just. I mean, I can show you what the box will be. Um, you can keep painting. There's lots of options which you can explore. Um, but essentially, that's kind of it. I just click generate and it creates my collider. That's why you don't want it to be a box in this instance because it was a case of. Um, the angles are wrong for the box it would need to be rotated that's why I was nesting my box earlier on so okay so I don't want that I can just go delete generated delete colliders um, change that to convex so you see it's still got my that's still defined in the asset um, and go again generate and now it's generated super quickly this almost perfect it's perfect for what I need it to be like a, a smooth collider that I can my character controller can go over and as I say you can if you decide like add more hulls if you want you know, to do a, I mean for this object it, it just doesn't make sense but you might go you know actually I want the outside as well to be I'm a bit further away okay so you, you know for whatever reason you might say right I want this and you literally you kind of have to think a little bit smart as to okay what um, polys do you select but you, you can redo them as you've seen so generate there you are, it's done an outer section and that's, that's two hulls you show and hide as you're working on an object um, but I really don't need this one so I'm going to delete it um, so I want delete and just regenerate just the one that I want and that's fine, Then that, that's essentially done um, so things again and then that is just you know as you would expect it's got a it's, it's part of the hull data it's got um, the mesh that's being created and will live in here um, you can keep this on the game object if you think oh I might come back and tweak it later but there's absolutely nothing to stop you just say actually remove that component I'm done. And then if you change your mind at a later day, um, just open the whole painter window and you can reconnect. So um uh, try to remember so that's the it's the painting data. So it's they're just like you know um scriptable object and you can since you reattach it, you can see it's remembered all the settings and if you had multiple holes, they would all kind of come back in place. And that's super useful, it means that you're kind of able to um, come back to things if you decide, oh, I made a mistake, I need to just tweak that hull. Um, and that's it, job done. Um, as I say, so recommend this. I've been using it for years and uh, it's, it's just brilliant. So there you are, short and sweet. I hope that's useful.